GRC is one of the best entry points into cybersecurity, especially for career changes. But most beginners have no idea what GRC actually involves or how to get started. Now, as a cybersecurity recruiter, I can tell you exactly what GRC hiring managers want to see from beginners and the skills that actually lead to interviews. Today, I'll walk you through the complete beginner guide to a GRC roadmap. Let's get straight into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Luke and I'm a cybersecurity recruiter with over 14 years experience and I help people break into cyber with clear guidance and real hiring insights. If you're new here, remember to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's start building your GRC roadmap from zero to job ready right now. Step one, understand what GRC actually is. Most beginners think GRC is just paperwork, but it is much more than that. GRC stands for Governance, Risk, Compliance. In simple terms, GRC is about helping organizations stay secure by following frameworks and processes. You are not coding or running pen tests, you are supporting the business to make the right security decisions. So what GRC analysts actually do? Well, they assess risks, they review security controls, they help with audits, write reports, work with stakeholders, and explain security concepts in plain English. So soft skills for GRC analysts is really important, being able to communicate with those stakeholders. And I can tell you that GRC is such a, it's in such high demand with businesses these days. It's a great area to look into. Now, from a recruiter's perspective, hiring managers look for people who can communicate clearly, understand processes and think logically. You do not need a deep technical background, which makes GRC a strong path for beginners or people moving in from another industry. Step two, build your foundations, security and business basics. So to thrive in GRC, you need baseline cybersecurity knowledge and the ability to understand how business operates. Learn the fundamentals. So learn what threats and vulnerabilities are. Learn how security controls protect systems. Learn common security terminology, the importance of risk management and how organizations structure their security programs. Recommended beginner certifications. Definitely look at the CompTIA security plus once again it's the gold standard you've got the iso 27001 introduction or awareness and you've got the google cyber security certificate if you want a very structured entry point now hiring managers want people who understand the language of cyber security so they can communicate with technical teams once again you'll hear me talk about this a lot but grc is a lot about communicating with the business okay step three learn the core grc frameworks this is where you start building real grc knowledge focus on areas like the iso 27001 nist cyber security framework and you have essential eight now you do not need to master every single control you just need to understand the purpose of each framework and how different organizations use them now from a recruiter's perspective if you talk about the iso 27001 or the nist csf in an interview you instantly look more prepared than most beginners so there's a tip for you and take that on board okay step four build grc hands-on experience and do this even without a job a lot of people think you cannot get hands-on grc experience without working in the field well, I can tell you, you absolutely can. And here are some practical projects that you can create today. Write a simple risk assessment. You can review a mock company against the NIST CSF. Create a control maturity report. You can even build a policy or procedure. For example, an incident response or access control. You can assess a cloud environment using SIS benchmarks or create a gap analysis for a fictional business. These are all things you can do straight away. Now, why does this work? Well, these are the actual tasks that GIC analysts do every single day on the job. So if you can do this beforehand, you've already got an upper hand on other people who haven't got this. Now, when you can demonstrate them, you stand out immediately and make sure you always package your project. So one page for each, you've got the purpose of the project, the steps you followed, the results, the recommendations, what you learn, and this gives recruiters something concrete to share with hiring managers. Imagine if you go to the recruiter with a page of all these different documents here and you can give that to the recruiter. They can then take that to the hiring manager and say, look, this person I'm representing, this is the person I think you should interview. They've got tangible evidence here of what they've done. It makes a massive difference. Okay, step five, develop your soft skills. This is critical. GRC is people focused. You work with teams across the entire organization more so than in any other position you could argue in cybersecurity. So you need to develop skills in communication. If that's something that you currently have strong skills in, then great. And it can even give you a better understanding of why GRC is 
a good area to move into. However, if you don't start practicing your communication, you need to know report writing, stakeholder management, presenting findings and explaining security in plain English. So if you're someone that really struggles with dealing with stakeholders, dealing with people in general, not very good at communication, the GRC probably isn't the route for you. And I'm just being honest there. Now, from a recruiter's perspective, some of the strongest GRC hires I have placed did not come from technical backgrounds. They succeeded because they could communicate really well and think logically. So if you can present security clearly, you become very valuable. Step six, get a GRC focused certification. Once you understand the fundamentals, you can move to a more targeted certification. Good options are the ISO 27001, the Security Plus, the GRC Analyst Certification, which there are various providers that offer this, Certified in Cybersecurity. And why these help? Well, they validate that you understand compliance frameworks and risk processes. Hiring managers like seeing at least one certification that shows commitment to the GRC track. Step seven, apply for GRC friendly roles. Cloud security roles can be competitive for beginners, but GRC has a lot more pathways. You can look for roles such as GRC analyst, governance analyst, risk analyst, compliance analyst, IT auditor, security coordinator, vendor risk analyst, junior policy analyst. I mean, there's lots of different options for you. These roles often hire people with strong communication skills and foundational security knowledge. So once again, it ties into someone who may be looking to move into this from a different industry. A tip I would give you from a recruiter's perspective is your CV should highlight your GRC projects, your understanding of frameworks, any experience at all you have working with policies, risk or compliance, any certifications you have completed. Now this combination is what gets beginners interviews. Step eight, build momentum once you get in. Now once you land your first GRC role, growth can be fast. You can move into senior GRC roles. You can move into security consulting, pure ISO 27001 roles, vendor risk, cloud GRC, governance and insurance, cyber leadership roles in the future. There's so many possible exciting pathways you can do. GRC can lead you to some very well-paid positions if you build experience over time. Now, a final bit of advice from a recruiter's perspective is one of the biggest mistakes I see beginners make is they assume GRC does not require practical skills. It really does. If you can show basic security knowledge, understanding of frameworks, some, a few GRC projects, ideally, and strong communication skills, you will be in the top tier of beginners that are apply for these roles. So really focus on those areas there. GRC is a fantastic entry point into cybersecurity, and I highly recommend anyone looking into it who may be thinking about choosing this path. Anyone can break into it with the right structure, and that's what's so great about it. I really hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you're planning to move into GRC, or if you have done so and what your journey was like. And remember to like and subscribe to the channel and join our growth community. Your support really means the world to me. Now, as always, keep leveling up your career. I'll see you on the next video.